back. We appreciate you for staying tuned on this uh, channel. Uh, this is the show, The Encounter, where we talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ in music and in great insight. And as I had said earlier, we have Pastor Anthony Wambua with us. And don't forget, as we continue to reach us through uh an SMS, our short code is 23378. And you can as well reach us on all our social media accounts. It's JCC TV. Also, you can reach us at Faith Mwikali Official. Karibu sana. Back. Asante. Yes. Thank you so much. Now, something we had not mentioned, and I think it's important for us to mention that yeah. you are also an author. Yes, sure. How many books so far? Um, eight books. Eight books. Yeah. Wow, by amazing. the grace of God, yeah. I love the book I'm reading on leadership. Oh, thank you. Exceptionally. Yes. Exceptional leadership. Exceptional leadership. Yeah. And then today I happen to just check on this book about the types of sons. Types of sons, yeah. And before we continue. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Amazing, amazing. I saw something which caught my eyes. Yeah. The types of sons. Yeah. You have highlighted different different types of sons. Quite elaborate. Quite elaborate. <clears throat> Twenty-one types of sons. Yeah. Let's just begin mm -hmm. with these ignorant sons. Yeah. Who are these <laughs> ignorant sons? Ignorant sons are sons who despise knowledge. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you have ever realized there are people who love their father, mm -hmm. love everything about them, mm -hmm. but not what they know. So they are not attracted to knowledge. Wow. And uh, what happens is that all around their lives, you will <laughs> see signs of ignorance. Mm -hmm. They will make mistakes, not because they are rebellious, mm -hmm. but because they don't know. They don't And understand. most likely they are not interested to know. And you know, um, um, the Bible says that the people that know their God mm -hmm. shall be strong and do exploits. Sure. Exploits are products of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Products of knowledge. Mm. And in for an effective prayer life is influenced by knowledge. By knowledge. Sure. The Bible says by books, mm -hmm. Daniel understood mm -hmm. that the season prophesied by Jeremiah yes. had expired. Yeah. And he began to pray based on knowledge, not mm -hmm. passion. Mm -hmm. So there are people who are sons who are very passionate, mm -hmm. but okay. not interested with the knowledge. And the obvious will happen. They will never take notes when their father is speaking. Mm -hmm. They will never take it serious. But they will be there in but every service. they will service. be there in every service. Mm -hmm. They would prefer looking busy, you know, but never learning. I was talking to one of the sons of Papa yesterday. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Apostle Michael, a great man of God. Yes. And he was just saying it as a, by the way, I mm -hmm. hope you'll be comfortable me making reference to that. Yes, that's That okay. he literally listens to every teaching yes. by Papa. Literally. Literally. Every time he speaks. Every time he preaches, he, ge he goes back. If it happened when he has services, he's mm -hmm. a bishop of a ministry. Yes. He would go back and sit down and, and, sit watch. Down and watch and listen to everything his father is saying. Now, there is a possibility that there is someone who is proximally mm -hmm. closer to the teaching. And he's in Nairobi. He's in Nairobi. Yes. So proximity is not connection because there could be someone who is at a close range mm -hmm. but I missing the session, missing the teaching. So that shows you people that, sons that pursue knowledge mm -hmm. will have the element mm -hmm. more than sons who are ignorant. So they end up making mistakes, mm -hmm. missing the point, mm -hmm. just because they have despised knowledge. Mm -hmm. And you wonder yeah. who is their father. And you wonder who is their father. Because they are very deep. The gap between them the and their father The gap between them and their so father big. is so big, yeah. despite the fact that they may have been together mm -hmm. for years. So wow. there must be a very deliberate act on mm -hmm. sons mm -hmm. to pursue knowledge. And not just the general knowledge that is taught, mm -hmm. but what the knowledge of the father, you must also be able to study your father. Mm. You remember in uh, Genesis chapter 27, but I think I've not captured that in the book, mm -hmm. uh, when, 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 when Isaac wanted to bless his sons, mm -hmm. he told Esau, make for me savory stew, mm -hmm. such as I love, mm -hmm. so that my soul, may bless you. Sure. So it was Esau's responsibility 
to know to what know. Isaac loves. So he must have watched and he learned. He must have watched and learned. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the wife knew better. Yes. So within a record time, she hijacked the blessing. Yes. Gave Isaac what he loved. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, that's the power of knowledge. Wow. Yeah. Dangerous sons. Dangerous sons are people or sons that are a threat. Mm -hmm. Literally a threat. Mm -hmm. Because they exist in your environment but can scheme behind your back. You. Yes. It has happened. The fact that uh, we have ignored uh, that aspect mm -hmm. does not make it non-existent. Mm -hmm. David, I know I've captured Absalomic sons, maybe yes. to elaborate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But if I may pick Absalom as an example, mm -hmm. David had once ran away from Saul. Goliath never scared him. Mm -hmm. He actually ran to the battleground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when his son rose against him, mm -hmm. He left Jerusalem. That was a dangerous man. Mm. He was hell-bound to kill him. Mm. His aim was to eliminate his own father yes. so that he can take over. Mm -hmm. So dangerous sons, once you identify them, you just have to pluck them off. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, cast off the scoffer and mm -hmm. contention will end. Yeah. So that's the principle. Mm -hmm. uh, no will... mercy, no... Should... There should be okay, no, a lot this, of this should be after a process. But I want to say this. You don't negotiate with rebellion. Yeah. And I think that's the part where we have failed. Yes. Attachments. Mm -hmm. We have attachments. Eh? I've been here too long. I've been here too long. Yes. I've invested too much in this man. Yes, yes. And you end up cuddling a rebel. Mm -hmm. When Lucifer messed in heaven. And I'm not saying we should exist without mercy. Yes. There should be mercy. Yeah, yeah. But once God has made it clear mm -hmm. that this, this is, is a, a person, person who will eliminate you. Yes. What's the point of praying for protection when the enemy well, is exposed? No. Yeah. We just dismiss, in my opinion, mm -hmm. and that's the nature of God. Mm -hmm. When Lucifer was clear that mm -hmm. he wants to take over heaven, yes. he was held out. Properly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As much as we call people in, mm -hmm. we must know when to call them Ouch. out. They are healthier ministries mm -hmm. because of healthy separation yeah. for the good of both. Mm -hmm. And when there is no that kind of discipline, people never get to understand the magnitude of their wrong. Mm -hmm. If they become dangerous, nobody would want to stay with a cheater. Yeah. That's in true. the house. Wow. Yeah. Let's just take uh, two more yeah. and then we'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. uh, they are the rebellious sons. Rebellious sons. These are sons that have openly pronounced their position against their father. Openly. Right. Openly pronounced. Why do they have to stay? Now, there are people who are just find their relevance in, in mess, in messing up. Mm -hmm. Once they have messed up, they feel positioned. You see, like Absalom, when he was vulnerable, mm -hmm. he sent Job to negotiate for him before the king. Mm -hmm. The king accommodated him. Mm -hmm. When he rose up, he decided to overthrow the father. Mm -hmm. And to the extent that he had um, sexual intimacy with the father's concubines mm -hmm. in the public, mm -hmm. that's a an outright pronouncement mm. that I have chosen to rebel. Yes. This is not a mistake that I am doing. Mm -hmm. It mm. is literally mm. rebellion. Mm. And uh, whether you keep a rebellious son, mm -hmm. maybe because of their gift. Someone said a gifted rebel is not an asset. Mm. Whether you keep them mm -hmm. because of their gift, because of their contribution, yeah to their ministry in terms of service, in terms of material. Mm -hmm. You should always know that the end of every rebel mm -hmm. is death. Wow. So your love for a rebellious son you are... will not give them longevity. Yes. You are actually allowing them to die. You are so... actually allowing them to die yeah. and catalyzing their death. That's so right. the best way is to deal with a rebel mm -hmm. as a rebel. She may died mm -hmm. prematurely. Mm -hmm. 
Ahithophel died mm. prematurely. Yeah. Look at their history. Mm. Ahithophel, his counsel was like the counsel of God. Mm -hmm. Look at Absalom himself. Mm -hmm. He died hanging on a tree. Yeah. You know, the earth re rejected him and heaven rejected him. Mm -hmm. Look at Lucifer himself. Mm -hmm. Look at Judas. Mm. The end of every rebel mm. is that the Bible says rebellion is like the spirit of witchcraft. That's, That's Samuel talking to Saul. Yeah. Rebellion. Mm. So a rebel is a witch. Mm. And the Bible says don't suffer a witch mm -hmm. to live. Mm. So you see, the end of rebellion yeah. is just it's like dead. the end of a witch. Yeah. It's death. And mm. no matter how much you love a rebel, mm -hmm. you can't change the verdict. Now, but all said and done, they are mm. true sons. They are true sons. Yes. And beloved sons. And bela those are beloved. Oh, they are true sons and beloved sons. Yes. Let's talk about the true sons. True sons are sons, and, and you know, you may overlap that with true sons. Mm -hmm. Paul calls only two people in his writing, mm -hmm. my beloved son mm -hmm. or my true son, mm -hmm. uh, Timothy yeah. and Titus. Mm -hmm. These are sons that are genuinely committed mm -hmm. to their father mm -hmm. in good times and, in bad, and bad times, times. Yeah. whether the father is under attack mm -hmm. or not they will stand with him yes people that will not endorse your fatherhood over them mm -hmm. when it is convenient yes these are sons that can suffer mm -hmm. for and with yes and they can celebrate for and with mm -hmm. sons who are not there to take over mm -hmm. but there to interpret the vision mm -hmm. They are not looking at what is in the hands of the Father. Yeah. They are looking at what is in the heart. These are sons that have traveled into the depths of the heart of the Father. Mm. They don't, uh, you know, they don't fulfill instructions. Mm -hmm. They fulfill the will. Sure. Jesus said in our Lord's Prayer, mm -hmm. and when I'm teaching on that, I call it what a father carries. Mm -hmm. It's summarized in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, mm -hmm. Hallowed be thy name, a father has a name. Mm -hmm. Thy kingdom come, a father has That's a jurisdiction. A yeah. uh, thy will be done, a father has, has a, a will. will. Yeah. So you see, if I may get to there, the rest we can do later. Uh, the father has a will. So there are sons who are able to read the will. I think Papa has taught us about David when he said, oh, that someone would bring me water. He never sent anyone. He never instructed anyone but they captured the will. Those were sons. true sons. They sons. captured the will. Yeah. They can read the intention, mm -hmm. the desire. They can go to any extent. They can go to any extent. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be shouted at. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be pushed. Yes. They know how to read the heart. Mm -hmm. Those are true and beloved sons who can walk with you, mm -hmm. you know, with a man of God, mm -hmm. with their father, mm -hmm. fulfill the will, interpret the vision. Mm -hmm. And they find delight in doing, in doing the will. Jesus, who is the best example of what a son should be, mm -hmm. uh, said, my food is to do the will. In other words, my satisfaction mm -hmm. is to do the will of he that sent me. Sure. And, you know, Jesus prided in that. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, mm -hmm. he, he was always my father. My father positioned as a son yeah. and he succeeded as a son. Wow. Yeah. Now, in all that, a father mm. is looking for something in a son. Yes. As the sons look up to the father. Yes. I believe that the father has a desire to see in the sons. Yeah. What would be the father's heart desire? The greatest heart desire of a father um, is honor. Yeah. God said in Malachi, I think 1.6, if, if I am your father, mm -hmm. where is my honor? Mm -hmm. So many people mistakenly think that the greatest thing you can give a father is an envelope. Mm -hmm. You know, it's when I interact with pastors, you would hear them go like, oh, this one, tie this to this one. So yes. it's about money. It's about the material that mm -hmm. the son is. Mm -hmm. But the greatest, if I give you a hundred dollars right now mm -hmm. in a dishonorable way, yeah. You will not see the value of the money. Of the money. Mm. So if I if I bring my gift mm -hmm. to my father, mm. maybe I'm a musician, yes. I'm a, you know, whatever, I'm gifted in a certain area, mm -hmm. but I'm doing it without honor. There will be no, you know, uh, alignment and agreement. Mm -hmm. So the greatest need of a father 
is honor. Mm -hmm. Paul said, children, obey your parents in the Lord. Yeah. Honor thy father and thy mother. Now, that aspect of honor mm -hmm. is quite elaborate. Yeah. Because to honor is not just bowing and say, I honor you, mm -hmm. sir. There mm -hmm. are people who are bowing yes. with dishonor. Yes. There are people kneeling mm -hmm. with dishonor. Uh, some are doing that and demonstrating physical honor mm -hmm. because of the environment. Yes. Maybe they just had to. It's mm -hmm. not from the heart. Mm -hmm. But honor is to esteem in the highest level possible. Mm -hmm. To acknowledge, to, to love, mm -hmm. to encourage, mm -hmm. to inspire, to give. Mm -hmm. Giving is just part of the demonstration. Yes. It's not all the demonstration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the greatest need of a father is so honor. honor. And where there is honor, mm -hmm. anointing flows. Yes. Yeah. Where there is dishonor, that's why a father out of love may lay hands on you, mm -hmm. speak well about you. Mm -hmm. But you realize for some people, right. things don't happen yeah. at all because the virtues being released have integrity. Mm -hmm. They are not pushed in. Yes. They know where to flow. Amen. They scan the heart mm -hmm. to know if there is honor in that heart. Mm -hmm. You remember God saying, you dishonor me, uh, you only honor me with your lips. Mm -hmm. Yes. So but what? Your hearts, are far. your hearts are far away from mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So if you honor a father from the lips, yes. what he is supposed to give spiritual inheritance, mm -hmm. which is not bicycles and land yeah. and pieces of plots. Mm -hmm. That spiritual virtue will always resist. Mm -hmm. It can't flow where there is dishonor. So the greatest need of a father is honor. honor. And I will challenge any son uh, out there mm -hmm. listening and watching yes. this program mm -hmm. to uh, study about honor. Yeah and learn to honor mm. because nobody resists honor. That's true. True honor, mm. nobody would resist it. Mm. And uh, uh, men are attracted mm -hmm. where they are honored and they can give anything they have mm. for, out of honor. I mean, where there is honor. Yeah. Yes. So in all this, what is the responsibility of the father as we wind up? The responsibility of a father is to uh, of course, bringing forth this part of it by yeah. nurturing. Yes. And then to teach. Mm -hmm. uh, you have known him. Fathers, you have known him who is from the beginning. Sure. When you look at the Old Testament, fathers were instructed to teach. Mm -hmm. Then to nurture. Yeah. To nourish. Kukuza. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And to maturity. Mm -hmm. So the father's major responsibility is to take sons through into their destiny, mm -hmm. into their destiny, mm -hmm. to journey with them. Yeah. And that is about, you know, teaching them, uh, creating, you know, opportunities and platform mm -hmm. for the sons to fulfill them. And when I'm saying that, I'm not saying sons should be co-preachers with their father. Yeah. Elijah was not a co-preacher, a colleague to Elisha. Mm -hmm. Elisha was not a colleague, yeah. but he taught him. Mm -hmm. He gave him opportunities. Yes. One of the opportunities is that he saw the Red Sea, I mean the Jordan River, mm -hmm. being separated. Mm -hmm. That's an opportunity. Yeah. So when he came back, he came with a mantle. Mm -hmm. So father should be able to nourish, to nurture, mm -hmm. and to maturity. Sure. That tells you every father should embrace a leadership mindset mm -hmm. to be able to lead mm -hmm. to lead their sons and and you know be able to interpret what they carry yeah when they are stranded uh, to be able to you know help them out mm -hmm. help them out with counsel and you will realize that when god, god is very specific mm -hmm. when this is your father mm. god will make sure somehow somehow he has a man who, mm -hmm for your destiny. Sure. There is a way what he is giving you mm. will be, because it's God orchestration. Yes. There is what, uh, and that's why it's very, very important to have the right father, mm -hmm. not your choice father. Mm. The right father, the not right your choice father, father. Not your choice father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because God will send your father with what you need. He will be addressing your need. Yes. Not your passion, mm -hmm. your need mm -hmm. through this father. Mm -hmm. So he will be carrying a manual for what you ought to be. Yeah. So even the, uh, the, 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 the message, the word, mm -hmm. will be in alignment mm -hmm. with what this son needs 
So fathers should be able to relate that way with sons mm -hmm. and have a covenant walk. Sure. As I say, not a contract, a covenant. Mm, a covenant walk. A covenant walk. Yeah. Where we are walking. It's not not about threats, not mm -hmm. about anything. Mm. And loving, of course, yeah. it's very key. And it's time if it's time to rebuke, rebuke and if it's correct. It's time to rebuke, rebuke and correct. Yeah. And uh, we were punished by our parents when we were young. We never ran away from home. Yes. Some beatings were extreme. Very extreme. Very extreme. Mm, mm, mm. But we still came back home. Yes. Uh, we still went to school. And now we can recognize and realize yeah. why that had to happen. Why that had to happen. Yes, we can see the fruits of it. We can see the fruits of it. Yes. And we appreciate. Actually, you would blame them if, if they, they never didn't. did it. Yeah. You know, even nowadays, uh, there is uh, something which has been said so many times. Yeah. Yakomba, uh, I'm a product of my parents, my mother's yeah. prayers. Yeah. So yeah. it means that uh, we value it now. But we value it, that yeah. time. Yeah, we felt like, no, yeah, it's an this attack. this is too much. Yeah, yeah. Wow. When, when you always feel a rebuke as an attack, mm -hmm. you're either immature mm -hmm. or developing rebellious horns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it may be an aspect of immaturity. Mm -hmm. Every rebuke sounds like an attack. Somebody's fighting me. Mm -hmm. That's why you go to... Among church folks, you'll always say, I'm going through a battle. Mm -hmm. mm, the man of God called me and told me not to do ABCD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I need <laughs> prayers. <laughs> you don't need prayers for rebuke. You just need to absorb the rebuke. And correct. And, and correct. Be in the right track. And be in the right track. Wow, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Amen. Uh, just look into this camera and okay. as we finish and talk to sons mm -hmm. and give them some insight as we conclude. In the amen, show. amen. I would love to say that... Uh, this is the greatest privilege mm -hmm. you can ever have mm -hmm. to be a son. Mm -hmm. The greatest privilege of all. Mm -hmm. And uh, as, as I have just said, the greatest gift you can give to your father is not money, it's not your, your gift in terms of your endowments. Mm -hmm. It is about you, uh, your honor towards the father. Sure. And uh, one important thing that will happen when you honor a father is that you subscribe to longevity. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, honor thy father, thy mother, so that it may be well with you and that you may live long. We have ministries that are short-lived. We have businesses that are short-lived because they are founded on the foundation of dishonor. Mm -hmm. The ability to preach does not license you to be equal to your father. And uh, once you recognize ranks, you open yourself up to uh, supernatural productivity you are able to bear fruits. It's only in that recognition that I am a son. And, and as I said earlier, if we look unto Jesus as our perfect example, mm -hmm. you realize he prided in being a son and not being a father. Mm -hmm. So my biggest challenge to everyone out there, we find a lot of pride in parading our sons. Mm -hmm. This is my son, this is my son. Uh, Jesus never uh, was very quick to parade uh, his sons, the disciples of course, he kept talking about his father. So I will never trust you when you show me your sons without showing me your father. Mm -hmm. Anytime you show me your sons, it's very, very important that you also tell us who mm -hmm. is your father. Because being a son comes before being a father. Mm -hmm. You have to be fathered to father. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amazing and great say, uh, insights there. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Amen. Anthony Wambua, for finding time to come and Thank inspire you. us Welcome. and be a blessing to us. Amen. We will be giving you the details of the books he has yeah. and also how you can get them. Mm. It has been a wonderful time to be here with you. Thank you so much for joining us. May the Lord bless you Amen. and have a great, great afternoon. Shalom. Shalom. As we listen to such men of God, we look forward to bring more of such content which is going to build you and which is going to uplift you. It has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Continue sending your SMSs to 233378 and you can join us, as I had said earlier, through our social media accounts. That's JCC TV. God bless you. May you have a blessed week. May the Lord bless you as you go out and as you come in. May He show His face to shine upon you. And then before we close, we are going to pray. Let us pray. 
Father, we thank you for your goodness and your loving kindness. We thank you for giving us a wonderful week. We thank you for giving us even a, an opportunity to listen to what men of God you have put in our lives as they minister to us. We thank you for a great week we have had in celebrating 30 years of God's faithfulness. Thank you for our viewer. The people have listened to us, oh my Father. We declare a blessing upon their lives, oh God. We declare the Lord you are going to continually show yourself great, mighty, and exalted in their lives, oh my Father. For those who are going through challenges, for those who are hoping to get to uh, to get to uh, their right uh, spiritual fathers, we pray the Lord you may help them. The Lord you may show them the way. For those who are struggling in life, oh God, we speak a word of breakthrough in their lives, oh my Father. We want to speak to those who are in bed and in hospital. May your healing power, oh God, reach them in a mighty and special way. Thank you, Father, for your faithful. Thank you for your grace. So, Lord, O oh King of glory, may you continue to show yourself mighty. And we declare in this coming week, we are going to see your goodness in the land of the living. We worship you and we adore you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. God bless you and shalom. See you next time on Sunday, the same time, same place. Don't leave and continue watching JCC TV where we bring to you the uncompromised gospel of Jesus Christ. Shalom and have a good time. Amen.